everyone, welcome to Tea Wear Wednesdays, a day where we're going to take the time to explore tea wear, new and old. I love all kinds of different tea wear and I'm excited to explore it with you. So let's get started. Excited to share with you this here teapot that I found. I think it's just gorgeous. The uh, color, the shape, it's just spectacular. Now I was, you know, scrolling through social media as one does nowadays, and I came across um, a photo, a mixture of a variety of different antique things that a local dealer had found. If you're in Nova Scotia, Canada, I would highly recommend you check out Great Village Antiques. Case is the owner and he is spectacular. So he posted, and this here, it was actually shown from the back end, and I was like, ooh, is that a haul? Like, it just struck me. I love the hook and loop, the color, the shape. You know, it's just, it is a gorgeous teapot. I think we maybe can all agree on that. I don't know, leave me a comment down below. Let me know, do you love this teapot already or not? So I quickly messaged Case and I was like, ooh, is that a haul? Can, can I have that teapot? And you know, as friends do, he gave me a great deal on it. I got it for $30. So I hobbled my way out and I picked it up from him and it is just, it did not disappoint. It is glorious. So I cleaned it up. It was just a little bit dusty, but it is in amazing shape. So this here teapot had me doing a little bit more research on Hall China Company and to understand them. I was very curious if you've watched any of my other videos. I love patents. So I was very curious to see if this here hook and loop style closure, the lid, if that there was actually patented. I can't find that anywhere, which is just stunning. So if we look on the bottom of it, you know, it says hall in the circle and it says made in USA. So by looking at that date stamp, we know that this teapot would be made from between 1930 and 1970. I also found one very similar to this. Uh, it was a different color of a yellow. I think they called it canary yellow and it had like gold leaves on it. So I found that one in a magazine clipping and the date I think was 1956. So I, my best guess would be it's, you know, probably from like the fifties. Now the thing that I found very interesting when researching Hall and they're still you know, in business today, they have joined forces with another company, um, or they've been bought out, I guess. I guess that's how that would go. Anyways, Hall China Company um, began in the early 1900s, and they were determined, the owner was determined to, I believe it was that the, own, the original owner passed away shortly after opening up the company, and his son took it over. And his son was determined, son and another business partner, they were determined to find this formula that allowed for uh, a single firing so that the glaze was fired at the same time. So I guess that would speed up production. But uh, they also wanted it to be very, very strong and craze free, which I never knew about Hall teapots. So, you know, you don't see any crazing on it. It is in brand new looking condition. And that's because of that process that they did, which I just find is so fascinating. Now this here shape and the style of it, it was named Parade. And like I had said, a lot of times it came with these leaves on it, but I am just so tickled pink that it is just plain, <laughs> that it doesn't have any gold leaves or anything on it. I think it is beautiful. It has a couple little blemishes that look like it was from the, you know, when it was original. So it has a little blemish there, uh, one on the spout. And I thought I found another little dimply thing right over here, but it is just beautiful. I love it. I love the shape. It's so cheery and I adore Door, this hook and loop. And like I said, I can't find anywheres where it says that 
it was patented or anything like that. I can't find any of that. So if you have found that, please leave me a comment down below. I would love to know. I am a crazy fan over patents and just love reading them. I love seeing the signatures. I, you know, really enjoy seeing, you know, the, the little drawings that they did and the explanations as to why they patented something. So this hook and loop was on a couple other uh, models of hall teapots as well. And, you know, but this one here is just so pretty. This color is, they just named it plain yellow. Uh, they did have a variety of different colors uh, and they had two different yellows, I believe. One was the canary yellow and then the, this one would have been just the yellow. They also had one that was called ivory that kind of looked yellowy when I was looking in the old articles and stuff, so. Yeah, so isn't that gorgeous? So when uh, I, I also came across, when I was researching it, um, an article, like a, a clipping, where it would be like, you know, information for the salespeople to be able to sell these teapots. And it was like, you know, tell your customers that it's, you know, top quality and that it's craze proof. That's what they called it, it was craze proof. And that it was super strong, so yeah. Uh, it's just, <laughs> it is so cheery. And I am happy to have this in my teapot collection and I will definitely be using this. So let me know what you think about it. I would, you know, love to hear if you are a haul collector, if you collect any teapots. So if you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button. I would love to have you follow along and it really helps out my channel. And if you wouldn't mind, click that like button and leave me a comment down below. I would love to know, do you love this teapot as much as I do? Do you think it's cheery and bright and wonderful? And how much in love are we with that hook and loop? I mean, geez, look at that. I mean, look, you don't even have to worry about this teapot lid falling off. I mean, how much crazier do we get than that, right? Like, look at that, like, whoa. Let's not get that crazy. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm gonna end it right there. <laughs> Doodles, bye.